All right, it is finally time to talk about the demonic Grendel and the red-headed mare. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ruin. We are back with another Chrono Kiseki 2 Crimson Sin discussion video, and we have got the final scan for Maze Famitsu magazine right off the bat. So let's get it. Let's go. I will leave the link for the previous video in the upper right hand corner where we talk about Celis and Rion, the Icy Hot Dominion duo. But for right now, we have got the bread and butter, the main antagonist of the second game, the sequel, absolute unmitigated hype. I'm gonna call her Alter, Alter Mare, but her name is Altera. Altera, Alter Mare, I think it's fine. And the sh her Inami illustration, okay then fairy. Okay then, red-headed fairy, I see you! You already give a lot more of a menacing sort of um, evil vibe than a blue blue mare of Vons. Fa uh, uh, likes humanity, kind of, at least she, she gives me the impression that she likes humanity. Whereas the red-headed mare over here at the altar, eh, uh, uh she ain't like that. She hates humanity, she despises them. Which, and she looks down upon them, which we're about to see a screenshot in a few moments here. Necessary to go this hard on uh, Altera over here, but they went up. Uh, Inami illustration went in. Inami went in on this illustration because this looks fire. This looks clean. I I pers I personally like this a lot more than the Celis art, absolutely. Which is crazy. Look at the dude. Look at that face. Look at that face. Why are you glaring at me like this? As I was about to say a second ago, Altera is extremely similar to Mare in that it has gained autonomy so, so because originally mare was a hollow core mare was a hollow core ai that just lives inside bonds cypher just chilling in there just like every ordinary average hollow core ai like aron's ai like fairies resets Agnes, judith the list goes on and on you know what i'm saying but bonds was special his mare his hollow core ai mare gained autonomy it was able to materialize through the resonation of agnes's genesis so what the flip happened to mare well how did mare gain autonomy in the first place i still don't know i still want the answer to that question by the way what the heck is up with the genesis really it's not some ordinary clock thing when the eight pieces collect, something's finna happen. Something's already happening because redheaded. Which broke okay, Before I even say what I was about to say here, when I was about to fucking lose my mind when I read this on the article, uh, kid, look, dude, look at, look at, look at this altar over here. Look at the altar over here. The way it just looks down on humanity and just its energy and its arrogancy and its ego, I freaking love it. Now, as I was about to say, Altera resonated with the 8th Genesis and that's how it gained form. So, and then 8th Genesis, that's basically the major point of this because we have 7, we're missing the 8th. That's what Agnes is trying to find. What the heck? This thing resonated with the 8th Genesis and that's how it gained materialistic form? What? What is? What? What? Who? What? What is going on with the Mare and Altera? How are they materializing? How are they manifesting into the world? Which, by the way, beautiful. Love the Judith Rancher family. Now, as I was about to say here, okay, so this right here, another screenshot of Altera. Yeah, I, I freaking personally, I'm, 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 I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely like her energy more than Mare's for sure. I cannot wait to see her in game. To see her voice acting, oh, which by the way, the voice acting, the Seiyu, the Seiyu is question marked. Altera's Seiyu is question marked. What the heck is up with that? Y'all not gonna tell us? Y'all gonna keep that hidden? Also, look at her quote. Consume everything. Consume it all. Shard erosion. Boot the Grendel. Altera. Plus the 8th Genesis. Which is in the hands of the mystery man. That mystery man in the trailer that we've been seeing, the one that absolutely clapped up, eradicated the CID agents. That dude, or thingy majiggy, who the frick is under that, that wearing? The one with the hat, the coats? That being has the eight Genesis, and that with those two, with Altera, makes Grendel Zoga. What? What? The mystery man has the eight Genesis? The mystery man has the eight Genesis. Altera became uh, Altera became similar to Marin having autonomy through the power of the eight Genesis. What is happening? What is happening? 
And we're going to find out in this game because if you go over to this article right over here, Kondo's comments. Um, where is it? As you as you might have already seen in both the teaser and official trailers, which by the way, are we going to get another trailer this month? That would be insane. Grendel Volga will appear very early in the story. He is undoubtedly an antagonist towards Vaughn, absolutely, because we're going to see a screenshot where he absolutely needs him in the guts. Man, many mysteries, such as why the mystery man has the 8th Genesis, what is his and Altera's objective, all of this will be shown. All of this will be shown, and I am here for all of it, you better believe it. I would like fans to pay close attention to Altera's actions in particular. What the heck does that mean? What does that mean? Why? Why do you want us to pay close attention? Pay close attention to Altera's actions. What's up with that? Which also, by the way, Altera, the Alter Mare, has got major beef with Bonds, Grendel, and Mare. So, I need it. I need it. 1v1. Altera, Mystery Man, Mare, Bond. Red Demonic Grendel versus Bond's Blue Grendel. I need 1v1 matchups. I need 1v1 matchups. Falcom, if y'all have a based bone in your body, you would do it. Scrap the whole anime JRPG trope. I don't give a damn, okay, about friends and family right now. 1v1. Bond versus Mystery Man. Mare versus Altera. Red Grendel. Demonic Grendel versus the Blue Grendel. 1 versus 1. Battle for the finish. Do it. I know y'all not. I know y'all not. You're gonna do some, some crappy freaking, um... Protagonist plot armor, the power of friendship nonsense, most likely. But if you all don't, and you do a 1v1, <laughs> oh, that would be beautiful! Beautiful, fam! Are you kidding me? This Grendo Zoga, I absolutely love. I absolutely love this thing's design. This Grendo form over here, oh my goodness, it's absolutely menacing, demonic. When you, if y'all if y'all saw that trailer, I'm assuming most of y'all watching this right now saw that trailer. Oh my goodness, that aura, that red aura doing that transformation scene, it looked like it was like eroding and corrupting the environment, like it was eating life. That was insane. That was absolutely hype. I cannot wait. I cannot freaking wait to see the the this right over here, the mystery man Altera and this the, the demonic Grendel show up in Kuro 2 in those cutscenes. Just the combination of red and black, which by the way, red and black are my two most favorite colors, which makes this even better. The claws look the claws look more clawy than Vaughn's blue Grendel. And the mane. Why does this thing's mane look absolutely uh, 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 insane? Like, this thing's mane looks absolutely wild. Which, by the way, something that'll be super cool to see is if Vaughn's Grendel had like a second form. Like, if he had like an evolution, like he reached new heights, so the Vaughn's Grendel changes form. This Grendel is obscene, obscenely more massive than Vaughn's uh, blue Grendel, because just look at this. Obviously, Vaughn isn't in his Grendel form, so he's a little bit smaller here, like he's in his normal height. He gets, he gets a little bit bigger with his Grendel, but look at the mass of this! Look at the close-up! Dude, this thing is massive! I, I had a feeling it was huge in that trailer when it just absolutely leaped forward, but oh my goodness, this thing is ginormous! It is physically girthy, it's bulky, it's thick! Like, what? Also, this scar, dude, this scar is just sexy, is it? Oh my goodness. Who is the mystery man? Who is the mystery man that turns into this thing I need to know? And we're going to talk about that dude a little bit in a second. I already pointed out a little like fact about him, but we'll, there's a screenshot and we'll talk about it more. But anyways, yeah, this 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 is, this is huge. This physically is more big than Bond's Grendel, which is why I mentioned the whole thing about Bond's Grendel having a stage 2. That would be interesting to see. Like, it reaches its full potential and it gets bigger. I don't know. Just brain rotting. But oh my... Oh, also, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but look at the hand. Look at that hand, almost like scales a little bit. Cool, freaking phenomenal. The demon vibes, freaking love it. The ferocity, the brutality. And look behind here, we got more bodies. We have got more bodies on the ground and he, this thing is absolutely the one responsible for demolishing, eradicating, obliterating the CID agents in the prologue, for sure, without a doubt. And because of that, it seems like there's some shade being thrown at Vaughn. Like, Vaughn is low-key, like, getting closer to being more wanted because this Grendel, almost like it's like a, it's like Vaughn's gone evil. 
Because this Grendel resembles Vaughn's Grendel, and Vaughn is the only one that has a Grendel like that, that, that people have seen, like the law enforcement, the uh, investigators, etc, etc, etc. And we already know the investigators are absolutely salty that they have no chance against Vaughn, especially that one Agnes simp, Nate, literally simps over every girl in Calvert besides his own girlfriend, but that's a different story for another day. Just leaping forward, it's just, a, it's just a monster. This thing is just a monstrosity, brutalic beast. Who we have no clue what the motive is, like I talked about. So what is this? What is this Grendel's purpose? What kind of relation does this Grendel have with Bond's Blue Grendel? What's going on over there? Why is this thing so much massively more massive? And um, why does it? Why does it have a hyphen Zolga in its name? What's up with all of these questions? I need answers for them. This looks like um. This looks like people. They almost look like either like police officers or CID. I don't know what they- I don't know who they are, but they're ordinary civilians for sure. This looks like an airship. Could this potentially be an airship? No, 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 this looks like a warehouse. Yeah, this kind of look like- this- this looks like a warehouse. A uh, mystery man! Mystery man, hello! Who are you? Who the heck are you? I wanted to know your identity before, but I definitely want to know now! Because this man is related to the 8th Genesis. Somehow, someway, this mysterious man with the scarf covering his face with the hat and the coat? You can't literally see anything? This dude over here? Zoom, zoom up, zoom up, zoom up. Which, by the way, Elaine's hair is- Oh my god, Elaine's hair. Elaine's new outfit. Um, Falcom, give Judith Rancer a new outfit. Just had to get that out there real quick. Vaughn looking absolutely sexy. But yeah, mystery man. What is up with you? You are covering yourself really nicely here. You are very well covered. Which ironically, unironically, actually, I actually kind of like his look, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, you can like, look how, like, even like you can see his nose right here, but it's like, uh, it's like shaded out. So you can't make it out. So he has that hat, he's got the scarf, you've got the coat, covering everything, the long pants, all of you can't see, no skin. This man does not live in LA. So, what's up with you, bro? What's good with you? What is your motives? What is your motives? What are you trying to accomplish? What is your objective? What is your purpose? What are you thinking? Who are you? Who are you? Why do you own the 8th Genesis? Why are you connected to the 8th Genesis? Do you have some sort of relation with Agnes Claudel? Do you have some sort of relation with Agnes Claudel and her family, Roy Grammy based Grammy Prezi? Do you have a relation, do you have a relation with that? Do you have a relation with, uh, with what's his face? Professor C. Epstein. Do you have a relationship with that? What is your connection to the Genesis? Why do you have why why do you have a Zypha? How do you have a Zypha? How does your Zypha Holocore Altera get materialized? What's up with that? Um, hopefully we get some more stuff. If we don't, it's totally cool because this was absolutely hype. It was it was amazing. I freaking loved the information we got this time. But it would be really cool if we got like some sort of live stream with some gameplay, potential playability with Celis and Rion. I don't know. Maybe another trailer. Just maybe, maybe some more scans, maybe just an interview, some question and answers. I don't know what it is. I don't know what shape or form, but it would be cool if we get more information for Kuro 2 this month. But if not, I'm pretty sure in about three to four weeks, here we'll be getting more stuff. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Either way, either or, whenever we get new information for Kuro no Kiseki 2, Crimson Sin, I will be in the share recording a video covering it all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and you haven't already, then like the freaking video. Because I do appreciate you guys' feedback. If you haven't already, leave a comment down below your thoughts on uh, everything here. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend, fam. The weekend should be right around the corner. This is either going to be a Friday or Saturday. So enjoy your weekend. Have a great day. Have a great evening. And I will catch you all in the next video or stream. Take care of y'all. Your boy is out of here. Peace.